you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, back on another Vintage Collection review today. We've got VC338 Ahsoka Tano from Ahsoka Peridia. Better known to some as Ahsoka the White. Yeah, she's looking particularly good. I do believe this figure reuses some parts from the previous Ahsoka, the live-action Ahsoka. We'll sort of talk about that, and maybe do a little side-by-side. -side. But looks pretty nice, a nice card back. I love having, you know, Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. <laughs> Kind of wish I'd uh, kept extras, um, just for the sake of having Ahsoka on Ahsoka cardbacks. So I think they look great. Yeah, a little bio on the back. And again, the uh, the picture of what this is. I still don't get that, but that's all right. But we're going to bust this one open, take a look. So let's do that. All right, folks. Here is Ahsoka the White, or Ahsoka Tano Peridia, if you're playing at home. In all her three and three quarter inch glory, again without a robe, which we'll probably have to pay for at another time, same as the Black Series. Um, but yeah, accessory wise, she does come with her clear white lightsaber hilts, and they look pretty nice. I've seen these before, if I can get them to uh, focus, there we go. So they look good, nice clear blades, signifying the sort of the white, the white blades she has, which is cool. And by the end of the season, yeah, she only ends up with the uh, the main one, the little one, the little Shoto blade, but uh, carved up by Morgan Elspeth. So interesting to see whether she's able to. Fix that up, or whether she just continues with the one blade. Let's we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But here she is. So in terms of reuse from the existing Ahsoka Tano figure, this one here, she's reusing the upper arms, the upper torso, the uh, lower torso, and the legs, up down until the knees, and the hands. So new elements being the belt the bottom half of the legs and the lower arms and of course the new head which is much nicer she's got the longer head tails looks a lot more like Rosario well, this one was bad but uh, yeah this one is much much nicer it's got sort of, especially with the soak of the white they sort of capture a real sort of soft features she goes from something quite sort of hardened start of the season and then yeah once she has her sort of run in and faces some trials she comes out a little bit more headstrong maybe a little bit more at ease with her path see so yeah, it kind of straight off the gate I'm sort of, sort of noticing a slight different color between the upper arms and and the back there from the front it doesn't matter too much and it looks the same as her face so that's not a big deal it's just yeah just on the back there it's a little bit off but again I'm not too fussed about that and the other detail I've noticed is that the uh, the little diamond pattern that goes on her up, upper arm is something that sort of followed her outfit since she was a kid is that the, the diamonds are meant to be on the back. But because obviously they've just reused, reused these arms, they've just sort of um, just rolled with it rather than re-sculpt new arms. And, it, and it's fine. It's it's such a small thing. But um, I love love her updated armor on the um, on the forearms there. That's sort of silver. Same with the uh, the boots. Very sort of samurai inspired, which was definitely what this show was. Thrawn even, you know, calls her a Ronin at the end. 
yeah nicely sculpted nice details especially on the belt some little intricate little parts on there And at this scale, you can kind of see, you know, a tiny little bit of yellow that sort of has sort of slopped down a little bit. But, you know, again, at this scale, like I can easily forgive that because it's just, it's so small. But it's hardly a big deal. But yeah, the face sculpt. Let's get a nice close up look at that, shall we? Yeah, fantastic. They've done a really good job. Looks nice. Head tails are painted really nicely too. And the montrals at the top look good. Very nice. Uh, articulation wise, she's got the ball joint in the head, and that popped off really easily. So you can kind of see it anyway. She's got the double bar, double barbell in the head, ball hinges in the elbows and shoulders it's got sw just swivels in the wrists same as the last one but again quite dainty uh, it's got that sort of torso joint in the middle the ball joint in the torso it's got the barbell in the hips swivels at the top of the thighs it's got the hinges in the knee focus come on and then she's got the ball hinges in the ankles and then the rockers at the foot so again this one quite shallow pegs on the bottom but we're going to give it a crack we're going to get out the uh the old kr stand if i can pick it up off the wall there we go we'll see how this sort of goes on it works it's a snug fit it's not going anywhere you can again you can kind of shave a couple of layers off the the top of the stand if you need to just the way it's 3d printed um, it's not too difficult to do that so we'll arm her up give her her lightsabers and, you know hopefully at some point we do get her um, with a cape in either scale so it definitely sort of makes makes her character when she's got the hood on a little bit more dressed in white but yeah I dig this one I really like the soak of the white I think she looks fantastic I love the outfit so yeah a couple of a couple of nice figures here yeah, Soka Paradia. And you're very excited to see where her journey is going to take her next. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. Tell me how you're feeling. Just in general, I don't care about the figure, you know. I mean, I care about the figure, but I care about your thoughts. But if you're having a good day, please let me know. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome and appreciated and super duper awesome. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again for some more Star Wars action figure reviews very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.